Alright guys, so a bit of a change of pace. Today we'll be talking about Kickstarter. It's already funded, so you don't have to put any money to this. And it's a real interesting project, to be honest. So it's called Dungeon Full Dive, Make Your Tabletop World Real. And this is essentially, like if you've ever played Tabletop Simulator, this is a Tabletop Simulator, but they go one step further from what I can tell. So they've already raised £84,000. Not sure how much that is in USD, probably like 100000 And they asked for 8 k So... You don't have to put any money to this. They are by definition already funded and therefore you can just wait. But I want to put it on your radar because the game actually looks fairly are interesting to be honest. Of playing tabletop like this? What if you could play Roll it 20. like this? Experience combat like this. So this is the part that that's vastly Hello. different from tabletop sim because if you don't know what tabletop sim is, you can literally download it. It's on Steam. It's it's a game for like, I think it's like below £20. And you, anything that can be played on tabletop, people essentially make the game, import the models, things like that. And then you can just download it. And things like Magic the Gathering, you can just like import decks and just play with your friends. Like my, my friends, my brother play this pretty much every day. They play Commander together. Uh, since the pandemic, nobody can meet. It's been incredible for them. Like put your webcams on, on Discord, sit and have a group call and, and just play uh play whatever game you want basically dungeons and dragons board games all that kind of stuff and it's obviously the limiting factor for a lot of people with board games is do i have a friend group that wants to meet up in real life and has time to meet up in real life and play board games or the cost prohibitive nature of like cards or miniatures things like warhammer or uh, D, D miniatures things like that and making maps um you can literally do that all that in tabletop sim online and just like meet groups of people you don't have to go anywhere it's not as socially demanding and um, so it's a real big deal i think it's a really good thing and as someone who's a lifelong mmo fan lifelong gamer fan um reading fantasy things like that tabletop games are always something i want to get into specifically dungeons and dragons but with like stuff like roll 20 it's just i don't have the best imagination so when it's just like a, a, a white map basically or like a really really basic 2d map I kind of struggle with getting into it um so with this where you could literally become your character and walk around and see where your line of sight is um just basically be immersed within the world that your your game master is creating fantastic idea will it work can they pull it off who knows we play with your friends like this Are yeah that's interested that's exactly Let what i'd be doing to you D just dancing dungeon full start dive. full dabbing play tabletop. Hi everyone, my name is Kang. I'm the founder of TXK Gaming and I'm really excited today to talk to you about Dungeon Full Dive. A tabletop game for PC and PC VR that will take your adventures to the next level. So how does it work? Now it looks like a fantastic First, idea. You pick a character and when I say pick a character I mean you really pick a character. Because in DFD, can we customize our waifus? As we fucking can. Want. And now, I'm your sold. friends can actually see you as your character. After that, you load into the game, where you can play tabletop just like you know it, and like you love it. But now, you don't have to imagine anymore, because your game master can load you anywhere in the world, where you can enjoy the scenery, and character straight bending over, explore the environments, and use them to roleplay with your friends like never before. And again. But how does combat work, you're asking? Well, your game master can summon a game table at any time, where you can choose from a wide variety of 3D battle maps that you can easily import with just the press of one button. Once you have chosen a I really map, like this idea, manager. but obviously this is already sort of a thing in tabletop sim it's just on a lesser degree a lesser scale which is why i can say like this is I, I don't know if it's believable that like they have this amount of game yet and how we don't know how far into development they are i looked through the kickstarter page real quick beforehand and they don't really go into depth on like where they currently are what they currently have done and it's only a two-man team so this is a little bit questionable but it is still a fairly realistic project because, like I say, Tabletop Sim already exists and is pretty fucking in-depth, to be honest. And if you really want to take combat to the next level, 
you can switch into the eyes of your miniature. Experience combat from inside the battle map. I'd, I bet this would be sick in VR. Face your enemies like never before. If you're playing with all the boys. Or experience what it really means to have the high ground. Now we can roleplay as Anakin. You underestimate my if power. You don't like our battle maps, or you want to create your own battle maps? No problem. Use our in-game battle map builder to make your own battle maps, or save some time and just modify the battle maps we give to you. The possibilities are endless. Because in like DFD, it. you can create your own adventures, and we want to make them as immersive as possible. And to help with that, in DFD, your game master can transform into all the NPCs that he wants you to meet. So you don't have to pretend anymore, but you can actually talk to the magical creatures of your adventures. Yeah, cool idea. So, roll for initiative, and for the first time ever, experience your adventures from the eyes of your hero. So... So yeah, that was real interesting. I'm personally a big fan of tabletop. My only problem with it, of course, as I mentioned earlier, is like the pro prohibitive nature of how you play tabletop, like going to meet people, um, having friends within your area or or knowing where you can go and play it and and it being able to, and all those people being able to fit a schedule of, we can get to this place at this time for this many hours. It's much easier if it's at home and you can just, you know, log on, uh, log on with the boys and, and you, when you've got a spare hour, pick it up put it back down this is how my friends play at the moment um on roll 20 and also they play magic like i said on on tabletop sim and they'll just if somebody has to go somebody's got a commitment they just fucking stop the game and and come back to it the next day or whatever and it's not a big deal whatsoever there's nobody got to leave and then feel bad because the other people have then also got to leave from that area uh it's just honestly much more convenient and obviously the prep work's still going to be a big deal but just in general if you play tabletop games or watch people play tabletop games, these are always interesting to me because in traditional video games, we're limited by systems created by a person. Even the most sandbox games out there, uh, they unfortunately have to be coded in a way that, you know, you can't do everything you can think of. Whereas in tabletop, you're just limited by your imagination and how the people around you will interpret the rules and, and how you can convey those thoughts and, it, you know, if it makes sense. So... I love shit like this. And if you just took tabletop sim and had it more immersive, I think that's just a, a net positive, really. And the fact that you can go inside your character, obviously, I don't think it's going to play like a, a video game and you're going to be like doing complex inputs or whatever, but just being able to go into your character, see whether you have line of sight on something, um, see what the terrain is like, you know what I mean? See specifically where an enemy is cut relative to your, your friends and be able to say something and then the dm can in real time move the map around you know add effects maybe um stuff like that i love that and i know what you can already sort of do that in roll 20 and tabletop sim but if you did that just more immersive and visually you know better looking yeah just net net positive something i'm super interested in not sure i'd back it because again they've not really at least as far as i'm aware described or or showed how far into development they are Maybe if I go in their Discord, they do, and maybe I update that opinion at a later date. But for now, yeah, I'm happy to wait for this and, and hopefully putting it on some of you guys' radar, you'll be interested because really cool idea, really cool concept, something that's not even that far-fetched in my opinion. So yeah, thank you very much for watching as always, guys. Hopefully you're having a good time. I will probably be streaming some solo today, Swords of Legends Online. And if you want to come check it out, I think I've got some beta keys to give away as well. So link will be in the twi in the video description for the Twitch. I have a Patreon, Discord if you want to come join that. And I'll see you on the next one. Stay safe out there. We're out. Peace.